Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Brevo contact from WooCommerce order. So let's suppose I have store on WooCommerce and whenever a customer makes the purchase, I am creating contact in Brevo. But now I want that whenever a customer makes the purchase, a contact should be automatically created in Brevo. I can do this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skill. I just need to build connection between WooCommerce and Brevo. Pabli Connect runs on two principles which is trigger and action. Here as my trigger application I will take WooCommerce where the new order will be placed and this complete workflow will get triggered and in my action application I will take Brevo where the contact will be created automatically as soon as the order will be placed. If you want to learn this amazing automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Brevo contact on WooCommerce purchase. For this, we are going to create automation between WooCommerce and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. After browsing the website, we need to sign into a Pabli account. On the top right corner, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on sign in. But if you are a new user, click on sign up for free and this will give you 100 tasks free on monthly basis. As I am an existing user, I'll click on sign in. And here a dashboard has appeared showing me all the Pabli applications. Here I need to click on Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me to this dashboard where I will be able to see all my workflows over here and all the folders that I have created over here. If you want to create a new folder, you just need to click on this plus icon and from here you can create a new folder. For now, I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on this create workflow. And now it's asking me to enter the workflow name. So let's name this as how to create Brevo contact from WooCommerce order. Now I need to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So these are the folders that I have created and I want to select all automations and click on create. As soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of a workflow. There can be only one trigger in a workflow but as many as action applications as you want. Here in this workflow, I want to create contact in Brevo whenever a WooCommerce order has been placed. This means whenever a WooCommerce order is being placed, a contact should be created in Brevo which means whenever an order will be placed, this complete workflow will get triggered. So here my trigger application will be WooCommerce and my trigger event will be new order created. Now I need to make connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect for whichever book URL is given to us and this URL will act as a bridge to connect my WooCommerce with Public Connect. So reading this help test given below over here, I will make this connection. So as to build this connection, let me take you to my WooCommerce account. This is the dashboard of WordPress and WooCommerce is the plugin of WordPress. So on the left hand side, we can see all the options. Here I have already installed this plugin. So I will click on WooCommerce. Then on the left hand side, we can see all the options here. Here I need to click on settings. And then we can see all these options, general products, tax, shipping, payments, accounts and privacy, emails, integration, site visibility, advanced. So we have to choose this option advanced and under page setup we can see all these options here we need to click on web books and over here I want to choose this new orders created so I will click on edit and then in this delivery URL I have to enter my web book URL which I am provided in my Pabli Connect workflow. So I will simply remove this go back to Pabli and copy this URL and simply paste it over here. Now I need to click on save webbook. Webbook updated successfully. Now let's go back to Pabli and over here we have to click on this recapture webbook response. Do you wish to recapture the response? So I will click on yes. Now we need to do a test submission so as to get the webbook response over here. So it's written. 
Now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So as to get the response over here, I have to do a test payment. So let's go back to WooCommerce and on the left hand side, I can see all the options here. I need to click on products. And let's say I want to buy this ebook on social media. So I will simply click on view and then I have to click on add to cart. Then if I scroll down, I have to click on proceed to checkout. And then over here, I will enter all the details. So let's say my first name is admin. My last name is user. My company name is dummy company. My country is India. My street address is new street. And then my apartment is 67. My city is Bhopal. My state is Madhya Pradesh. My postal code is, let's say, my phone number is, and my email address is admin at the rate pavlitudes.com. Now I have entered all the details. I will simply click on place order. So I have successfully placed this order. Thank you for the shopping with us. Your account has been charged and your transaction is successful. We will be processing your order soon. Now let's go back to Pabli and check whether it has captured this purchase response or not. We have received the response. The purchase was made of total 270 rupees. The name of the product was ebook on social media. The pin code was this. The first name was admin, last name was user, country was India, company was dummy company, city was Bhopal, and the address was this. So this means WooCommerce is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. And now I have to move to my next step, which is action step. So I want to create contact in Brevo as soon as the order has been placed in WooCommerce. So here my action application will be Brevo and my action event will be create or update contact. Click on connect. If you have an existing connection, you can simply go with save. But if you don't have one, click on add new connection. And over here, I need to enter the API key and it's written. Enter the API key here. Copy your V3 API key from the SMTP and API page of your Brevo account to paste it below. So let's click on this hyperlink given over here. So this page has appeared in front of us. Here we need to click on generate a new API key and let's name this API key as test4. Click on generate and we have successfully generated a new API key. I simply need to copy this and paste it over here. Now I need to enter the domain. So it's written, enter your domain here, example this. So let's go back to Brevo and copy this app.brevo.com and simply paste it over here. Now I need to click on save. So Brevo is connected with Pabli Connect and now we have to enter all these details. So the first one is email and to enter this, I'm going to use the process called mapping, which means I'm going to enter data from my previous response. So over here, I have received the response in my WooCommerce and the email address there was admin at the rate pavlitudes.com. So over here, I will simply click on this field, click on WooCommerce and search for the email and enter the email address as admin at the rate pavlitudes.com. So over here, do you want to use email blacklist? So I will simply select this as true. Do you want to use SMS blacklisted? So I will simply select this as true. Now I have to select the list under which I want to create this contact. So these are the lists that have been created in my Brevo. And I want to select WooCommerce as the list. So this is the list I want my contacts to be created under and then update enabled. So I will simply select this as true. Then SMTP blacklist sender. I do not want to use this. So I will simply skip this and this field is also not required. Next, I will enter the first name, the last name, SMS. And to enter this, I'm going to use mapping. So to enter the first name, I will simply click on WooCommerce and then map my first name as admin, then my last name as user, then my phone number as this one. I will leave this field blank as these are not required one and needed for me to create contact in Brevo. 
So over here, mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, it is taken into consideration in these fields. Manually entering the data will make these fields static and the information will not change even if you have received the new response. Over here, in place of mapping, if I manually type my last name, this field will become static and the information will not change on every new response. So as to keep these fields dynamic, we use this method mapping. Now I'm leaving these fields blank and simply click on save and send test request. So we have successfully received the response over here. Now let's go back to Brevo and check there whether we have created this contact or not. So on the left hand side, I can see all the options. Here I need to click on contacts. And we can see under the same list, which was WooCommerce, we have created this customer as a contact. The name of the customer was admin user. First name was admin, last name was user, phone number was this. Let's open this. And we can see all the details over here. Now, so as to check whether this automation is working perfectly fine or not, let's go back to WooCommerce and place another order. So I will add this to cart. Then I will scroll down and click on proceed to check out. So I have entered all these details. The first name is latest, last name is user, company name is dummy company, country is India, street address is old street, apartment 90, town is Indore, state is Madhya Pradesh, postal code is this, my mobile number is this and my email address is latest at the rate fabletudes.com. Now I simply have to click on place order and here I have successfully placed this order. Now I have to go to my Brevo and check whether this contact has been created there or not. Over here, let's refresh the page once and we can see we have created this latest user also. The first name was latest, last name was user, phone number was this and the email address was latest at the rate pablitudes.com. So to summarize, we took WooCommerce as our trigger application where we made connection with Public Connect with the help of this webhook URL, placed an order in WooCommerce and received the response over here, after which we took our action application as Prevo, where we made connection with Public Connect and entered all these details with the help of mapping, selected the list under which we want to create this contact and simply clicked on save and send test request and received the response as new contact created in Brevo. So we have successfully created automation between WooCommerce and Brevo with the help of Pabli Connect. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any query, you can reach at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. Also, if you find our videos helpful, do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel.